Hello all my logical friends, my name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video where today we are going to be talking about where the newest mobs within the new title update 70 update aquatic from Minecraft, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, PS Vita, and Wii U. Now as you guys can see, we have ourselves all the zombies laid up in a row. So we have ourselves the Drown, which is the new mob, we have ourselves the Zombie, the Zombie Villager, and as well as the Husk. And we're going to need the zombies and the Husk for this video. Of course, for the zombie villager, we have planned for him later on. But for the drowned, pretty much this is the newest mob within the new update. And I tell you what, this guy, he may just seem like a normal zombie, but he is no ordinary zombie. Because he can spawn into a brand new item called the trident, which we'll get onto later on. But if you guys happen to enjoy this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it. And subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. And let's get started. So first off, how do you find yourself the drowned? Now to find the drowned, they actually spawn in pretty much any dark places underneath the water. So it could be in any type of biome that you want. It could be underneath a lake biome, it could be underneath a plains biome, it could be underneath a swamp biome, it does not matter on the biomes. But pretty much you can go and find these guys, but that's not the only way that you can find them. Because you can also go ahead and spawn in a zombie inside water, or you can just have a zombie walk into water, and pretty much they now sink. The same thing goes for husks, and the same thing goes for skeletons. They now all drown, but pretty much the zombie will turn into a drowned, and then the husk will turn into a zombie, and then it'll turn into a drowned. So that's pretty much how that works. So we're going to go and come back to him in a second. Now for the zombie villager, unfortunately he will not turn into a drowned. So remember the plan I had for him? Well, I'll tell you what that plan is. The plan is to have him as a test dummy for the trident, because these guys, whenever you find them, they can sometimes drop a trident whenever they are killed. And then if they're holding it, they can also drop it as well. So if I go ahead and grab myself a drowned over here, I thought I had the drowned spawn egg, but I have the zombie spawn egg. So as soon as I actually grab this guy, I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a whole bunch. And the see, okay, there we go. We got one with the Nutella shell and as well as the trident. So they can drop both of those things whenever they are killed. But did this guy just turn into a drown? He has. So we had a little bit of an explosion earlier. So I think that might be an exclusive because on Bedrock Edition, there's no explosion. And on Java, there's no explosion. So we now have ourselves a drowned inside of there. And as I mentioned, we're now going to go ahead and spawn in the Usk in there. Because the Usk will turn into a zombie. Then it'll turn into a drown. So that's really, really cool. The way that they transition into that. But there we go. We have ourselves our Usk. I'm going to go ahead and put him right inside of here. And we are going to go ahead and talk about the Trident. Now the Trident is actually the most powerful weapon in all of Minecraft now. So you see that 8 attack damage. If you look at the diamond sword, it actually does not have that much attack damage. It only has seven. So you get one extra attack damage than the diamond sword. So if you want, as you can see, he is now shaking. In any moment now, it will actually start to turn into a zombie. There we go. He has just turned into a zombie. And as I mentioned about the zombie villager, he will not turn into a drowned at all. So just to show you guys that, I'm going to go and put him right in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fire the trident right at our zombie villager. So, the zombie villager, we didn't really need him, but, you know what, it's good to have a little bit of a test dummy. So, there we go, three hits with that, and then he is down. So, with the zombie, if I go ahead and use some critical hits, so one, two, only two hits, and he is down. So, then if I were to go ahead and hit him without using any critical hits, he's going to go ahead and have one, two, three. So, you get a two hit kill, and the best part is, if you have like a pig, or a cow, or a sheep, it's actually going to be a one hit kill. So just to prove that, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab myself a nice little cow. And I just heard him turn into a drown. So it's actually quite nice. So where is our cow at? The villager we're not going to use. So don't you worry. Of course, I'm not going to use the chicken. Because the chicken, of course, is going to die instantly. But we have ourselves our cow, our sheep, and pig. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in the cow. Go ahead and grab myself my trident. And as you can see, a 1-8 kill. Go ahead and grab the sheep. Then we have ourselves a 1-8 kill. Grab ourselves our pig. And we have ourselves a one it kill. Of course, now tomorrow I will have a video out talking about the trident a little bit more. Give you guys an in-depth tutorial on all the brand new enchants and what they end up doing. Of course, do keep an eye out for that video. But for now, that's pretty much it on the drown. So the drown, as I mentioned, he drops the trident, drops the Nutella shell. He even spawns in from the zombies and zombie husks. And he does not come from a zombie villager. So that's pretty much it on the drown as I mentioned. And there we go. We have ourselves one that naturally spawned down here. And also they are slightly bigger than they are with the zombie. 
So as you can see, their heads are bigger than the zombie. So that's, I guess you could say that's pretty cool. That is not a complete waste of your time. But you are going to need them if you do want to get any of this stuff. Now, now if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving the... Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And for now, I hope that you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye. See ya.